Hey, uh, John Armstrong here. Thought um, I would show you an interesting little move for our free trick Friday. It's more like free move Friday, but um, listen, I don't know, either way works. <laughs> So um, here's the basic concept. Um, I would uh, ask you to say stop as I run through the deck. So they would say stop. And there's a card. And I'm going to take that same card, place it right there so that it's lost there in the deck. I think it's on the King of Diamonds. And now watch. Already on the bottom. All right. So let's talk about how this works. It's actually pretty... Uh, Pretty simple. The major thing behind it, what I wanted to show you guys, was the idea of actually approaching the cards from this way, as opposed to this way. If you, if you go like that, it kind of covers everything, but here, it's nice and open. See, if you were showcasing the card on top or whatever, you can see that it's nice and open, as opposed to something like that, where you're hiding the card. And that has a lot to do with this move uh, and how I discovered it. Um, this is a variation on, an, on Ackerman's um, Killy bottom placement, and so it's a variation on that um, using something I discovered um, because I always approach the cards like this, which means that my pinky is completely free and able to do devious things like the glide right here on the bottom of the deck. So as opposed to doing a glide that would look like this and look weird, you can do the glide uh, right from here. So if I was just to regularly glide that card, there's a glide but it like, looks much more natural than something that looks like that when you do the glide. So, Ackerman varies Kelly. If I go like this, I always kind of keep the deck in sort of a, a bit of a bevel. And they say stop. Let me look at that card there. And now what's gonna happen is this pinky, like I said, is free to be able to pull that card over. Like that. And that's all you really needed to go. It's a glide, like I said, so it's just kind of going over like that to this port here. And now I take the card underneath it and come out and do that. Now this is Alan Ackerman's idea for the Kelly bottom placement. The Kelly bottom placement is that old chestnut where you go like this and you put the card underneath it, but it always seems to look pretty much exactly the way it looks. Um, Ackerman was very smart in thinking that you could actually um, have a reason for coming towards the cards this way by doing a glide-like action and putting the card out as an out jog. And the thing that I've added to this is now they see this picture, then immediately it comes down. You take the card out, do the jog, which means now this card is actually riding on the bottom of the spread. This comes out like so, and goes down. And so if I was to do it to speed, it would look something like this. There's the card. There it is. Boom. And sometimes what I will do is I will peek the bottom card, because that's what's supposed to be here, and say, OK, and miss call. All right, I'll take the 10 of hearts, which is actually here, and put it right here into the middle of the deck. But in actuality, it's there on the bottom. So it kind of adds that last bit of illusion to it. Miscalling is actually something that is quite effective. So that's that, that's that, 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 